Hi everyone, it's Chrissy again with uh, the third part of this team building brief. Um, and now I'm gonna actually switch and talk about values. So I talked about that a little bit in the first section. The Navy has values that they have instilled in you. Those are honor, courage, and commitment. Um, but I wanna also talk a little bit about personal values and then maybe even implementing within your department, within your organization, your command, um, some additional values that really resonate with the job that you do within the military, the why, why you do what you do um, within the military, within the structure, or within yourselves. So I like to talk about values because sometimes when we have um, conflict or issues at work, it might be because we just have different values. So values, let's use the compass for example. Values are kind of like the direction that we go in. Um, so here I have my compass. Right now you can tell generally where I am. Um, but the compass is the direction in which we are going, correct? Um, so if I am in, Cal I'm in California right now, if I were to go to Florida, um, I would be going in the direction of east, okay? And the way I would know that is one that I could, you know, some people will say who are very directional, they'll be like, well, I get on this highway and I, and I go that direction on the highway. Um, some other people like me actually will know I'm, know I'm going east because I will pass landmarks on the way. I will go through um, Albuquerque. Dallas, New Orleans, and then I know that I'm in Florida when I reach the Florida state line. I'll never actually be east because east is a direction and not a destination. So values are like the way you go and the goals are what you pass along the way. So for example, I actually have a value of industry and I also have a value of contribution. So my industry value means that I want to be known for doing a good job at what it is that I do, and I want to provide that in the best possible way. Um, my other one is contribution. I want to know that what I, de what I do is valuable to someone else, that it contributes to someone's betterment of life or betterment of their work or better, better quality of life. So I remind myself of those, and the things that I do, like um, even so so little as taking a training all the way up to attending training all the way up to delivering training those are some of the goals that i can mark off on my way to being industrious and providing contribution which are my values um, so i wrote down some values here because i want to talk about how they can sometimes get skewed or sometimes make it so that we have conflict with other people um, and we actually have a values assessment at our offices in Fleet and Family. So if you email us, um, FFSC, so Fleet and Family Support Center, SD, as in San Diego, training request at Navy.mil, or just call our centralized scheduling number. Um, so that values assessment can help you understand what your values are. And I'm not here to tell you that one value is better than another. It's kind of just what makes people tick. So let me provide you with some examples. I wrote on here just throw threw up a smattering of values. So industry was one I talked about. That's one of my values actually that shows up when I take an assessment and contribution is important. But say for example, I'm going to take a personal example. So say I'm a spouse. Maybe I was attracted to uh, the military lifestyle because it provided a steady paycheck. That wasn't something I regularly had before. Um, so a steady paycheck sounds good as a foundation for our family finances. So I was attracted to the military for that, but I didn't actually understand that the military lifestyle also has quite a bit of duty and adventure and maybe change. Maybe my spouse was attracted to the military lifestyle because of adventure, because of change, and because of a, a call to um, a higher duty. Um, but this is kind of where we can like start to have um, friction with people too. So I think too about some of, so I have three kids, so one of my values is being a good parent and a good mother. Um, so you can understand too, maybe other people might not have that same value if they um, don't have children, or if they didn't um, grow up in a family that had a very strong foundation of family. Um, but remember too that people's values are what make them tick. And the other key thing 
is that stress comes when you are not going in the direction of your value. All right, that is when the stress comes. So for me at work, I start to feel stress when I know that I'm not doing and living to my value of being a good mother. Um, my stress will come at work if I feel like the quality of work that I produce is not of the highest quality. So one of the reasons that this is important for your work is the why that we talked about in the first section is a motivating factor for people. They will do that. They will follow people into battle. They will do things that are uncomfortable for them if they align themselves and understand the why. If they align themselves with the why and understand the why. The second thing is if what you do as an organization and as a command is aligned with their value. The, this is their motivating factors. The key for leadership to understand is what are those individual motivating factors and how to tailor them to the tasks that need to be done. That's the key to get motivation and inspiration in people. All right. So let me know if you have any other questions about this. That's a very brief overview of how values are related to um, team building. Okay. Um, all right. So the last thing I want to cover is there are some other processes to team building, such as understanding a direction of when things are due, how things are accomplished, a check-in procedure. And I would suggest checking into some of our time management briefs or call us for some additional information on that because we do have some other um, information. Um, the last thing that I would do is if anyone is interested in reading more about team building, I pulled a couple of ideas from some books. Um, the Trust Circle is from this book called Leaders Eat Last from Simon Sinek. And he also has another book called Start With Why. So that's what that one is from. Um, this is on the CNO's reading list. So if you can't get to a library, which most of us can't right now, um, consider reaching out to the Navy um, digital library and then Military One Source also has a digital library. And then I mentioned earlier too that there's a book, <clears throat> excuse me, that talks about talks about how people who are subordinates can work with leadership. So this one's called Leading Up, How to Lead Your Boss So You Both Win. So I, I, re I recommend this book, especially when people will say things um, and it, you know, doesn't happen often, but occasionally people will say, well, it's leadership, that's the problem. Leadership is the problem. And this is one of the ones that I kind of recommend to just get you a focus on what it is that you can do versus focusing on all of the things that are outside of your area of control. All right. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for reaching out to Fleet and Family. We're looking forward to seeing all of your smiling faces on the other side of this. So um, yeah, we're looking forward to it. Um, reach out to our centralized scheduling or um, check out our Facebook. We have some other things coming um, to you on that. All right. Thank you so much. Bye.